Hey there! Welcome back to another Minifig Monday. Today we're looking at another Disney villain. I think we've done a few of these before. This is Dr. Facidier from The Princess and the Frog, one of my personal favorite Disney films. Here he is, looking menacing. Very, very cool. I was very excited to hear that he would be getting a minifig in the new series, and I am pleased to report this minifig is phenomenal. They did a amazing job capturing the voodoo witch doctor. Here is a 360 view of the doctor here, and he comes with quite a few things. That hat piece is brand new, but before we talk about that, we got to talk about the stuff he comes with in his hand, the accessories. He comes with his cane. Honestly, I think the cane is pretty cool. It is not a new piece, but it does have ser it's built of several pieces. So you've got a, a three long um, bar piece with a one by one with a, stole, a hole in it, and then a one by one, like a flat piece with purple. It's like a trans purple piece. Looks great. And it's meant to represent his cane. It could have been a little bit better I think they could have done like a ball end piece with the purple instead. I think that would have been cooler because it looks a lot flatter when you look at it like from head on. It's cool. And I do think the cane definitely should have been longer. I'll fix that. It's not a big deal. But yeah, the cane is a cool piece. I think the more interesting accessory is his tarot card. He's got a tarot card right there. And it looks awesome. Uh, whoop, does it knock over something there? This is a 1x2 flat tile in black, and it's got printing of a mi two minifigure hands and with some eyes on it. Look how cool that looks! That is so cool! It's very accurate to the cards he carries in the film. He's kind of a trickster. Um, he makes deals with people, and he doesn't, you know, he does not keep his end of the bargains. So he, you know... He's kind of a swindler, so yeah, the car, this is my favorite thing, it's, it's so good, it's so good, this fig, this thing, I would like more of these cars, that'd be awesome, but it's so, like, weird and unique, and it just looks excellent, very cool, very cool, I like that, and um, he does come with the top hat, that is brand new, uh, it's got the skull and the crossbones on it, and it's fantastic. It's got like the red printing around the band or the, the red band and it's got the feather. Um, so that's great. And it actually looks really cool because if you notice his hat is leaning forward a little bit and it, it's like leaning down slightly. It's cool. It's like a very cool look. And you can adjust the hat even if you wanted to to give it you know a different shaping or a different look depending on what you want. But yeah, that's the, those are the accessories. It looks awesome. I love the face. The face is spot on. Heath David Facilier. It looks amazing. But let's talk about his outfit, which is honestly kind of basic. Like compared to most of the other minifigs, he, his outfit is not that detail. Like it's not very extravagant. It's just like a vest with a jacket and like some pants. It's not like super like memorable but it is cool because facilier wears this type of outfit and it is very cool to him very you know unique to him he's got the purple looking great with his little belly button not many minifigs show belly buttons so that's cool um he's got his necklace with his two two teeth there and something i found interesting was when these figures were revealed and people were you know reviewing him i thought it was interesting that they chose the dark brown for his suit instead of the black. I swore in the movie it was black, but I think I'm wrong. It was actually a dark brown suit. So yeah, it looks great. Um, it just looks super cool. He does have printing on his belt and on, or for his belt, the red, and then he's got the printing for the shoes looking pretty cool. I love the way he looks. He's such a smooth talking villain. He's so cool, super awesome. Definitely one of my favorite Disney villains for sure. Um, he's kind of underrated. Like no one really talks about him as much as like Hades or Maleficent or you know Corella Deville. He's kind of just like the villain that's in the background. But anyway, looks great. He does a back printing. It's very simple, but 
looks nice, it matches his suit. No alternate face, which is fine. That doesn't bother me this time because he's got the top hat. That would just show. It would be super awkward if he had the one face and then you turn his head around and it's just another face on the back, like, sticking out. That would just be really odd. That would not work. But, yeah, he's great. I love his face. It's so good. Like, they translated him perfectly as a minifig. He's got that evil smirk. You know, he's got the uh, mustache, cheekbones. We take his hat off really quickly there. It is hiding his eyebrows. Look, in, look at that. It's so good. And the fact that you can change his look by, you know, changing his hat. It's like moving his hat around. It's so cool. I love the face. It's so dead on for Facilier. It would have been cool if they included like some pieces for a shadow friend. Like a friend on the other side like a shadow demon that would have been super awesome i don't know how that would have worked though i can play shadows with or i can i can play the shadow game with my fingers with the hand there look you can see a shadow the shadow man no, that's pretty stupid but he is called the shadow man because he is in charge of a bunch of de demons from the underworld i believe it's not really clear but he does have friends on the other side. That would have been cool to get some, but I understand that it's just a minifig. You can't really do that, but it's gonna. I, I might make some custom ones. That'd be really cool. Anyway, let me compare him really briefly to Princess Tiana, his uh, his enemy, of course, in the film. His his uh, equal. There you go. We'll take a look at her in another video. Love that figure as well. Um. Dr. Facilier is so cool. It's such a great figure. I'm so happy to have him. He's going to look awesome terrorizing the the stand. A uh, big fan of him. Um, he's so cool. I wish he would have returned. I understand why he's not. It would have been cool. Um, yeah, that's Dr. Facilier. He's kind of a simple figure. Like, kind of warrants a simple video. I love the card. The card is, like, the coolest thing that comes with him, in my opinion. Other than the hat. I think the hat is probably the second coolest piece. Let me show you that, actually, really quick up close. Hopefully you can see that. There is the hat with the skull. Very cartoony, looking very great. He's got the feather as well. And the band wraps around the whole hat. Um, he's not the only figure with the hat in this series. Actually, Jiminy Cricket also comes with a hat. But that figure is kind of lame compared to this one, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, Dr. Facilier, the witch doctor, the shadow man. Let me know what you think of him. Do you like him as a villain? Do you think he should return? And what do you think of this figure? Do you like it? Or do you like the Tiana better? Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what your favorite of this series is. And I will see you for the next one. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you for the next. Take care. Have a great day.